everyone, this is Gaming Science and Math Man with a gravity video. Um, today we will be doing Langrange points. So we have our sun in the middle. This program is called Pixel Gravity. I will put a link in the description as to where you can get it. Now let's make, how about, which one? Um, let's do a red dwarf. Those are fine. What the? Oh yeah, sun pause. Oops! The red dwarf orbiting. What the? Oh my god. I turned this time step down. Uh, oh my gosh. Why the heck I hate this thing? There we go. That's better. They're actually large enough to be considered a binary system because they are orbiting each other as seen in this video. Or as seen in this part. Right, so we are going to pause and fix this. That way the camera will rotate around with it. Pause, unfix, play, pause, zoom in a little bit. Only so much. Fix, play, now it rotates with us. Alright, so we are going to put a... Let's put a moon there. Let's see if we can... No. Nope. Oops. Girl said you hallelujah. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so here we are. It is in the correct plane. Now we're going to fix this, turn on planet trails, and it runs and crashes. Okay, why don't we delete this one and enter this one. Let's turn planet trails off. Last time I used Jupiter and it worked much better, so let's use... Jupiter. Girls go to Jupiter to get more stupider. La, 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 la. Jupiter actually has a pretty big gravitational effect on the sun, as does Saturn. I believe that where did I put it? I made a Jupiter two Jupiters or um being at each other's Langrange points, I think. Make another Jupiter there. Girl, say hallelujah. All right, now let's focus on the barycenter of the selected two. What? Please unfreeze. Thank you. Yes, I would like to focus on the barycenter. Fix. Well, let's control. Whoa. Uh, control Z. Control Z. What the? Oh, come on. Why did I make so many mistakes? It's probably the fact that I'm tired. Alright, planet trails. Play. This thing? Yes, they're orbiting around the Langrange points. Woohoo! We're going to pause and focus on the better center of these two fingers. Pause. Now let's focus on that one. Yes, they are orbiting each other's barycenters. Now we're going to put one, put a moon directly in between them and then observe from that moon. Fix. Play. As you can see, they are orbiting the Langrange points. Kind of wobbly. And this moon is at a point of it's at a point of stability. So if we fix this and play, it wobbles and wobbles. Anyway, that's that. Now we're going to pause, delete these. We're going to pause and oh come on, let me click on two at the same time. Delete. We're going to no find the trails. We're going to make a horseshoe orbit. Try that. Girl. 
Oh, come on. That didn't work. Okay. Let's copy. And, oh, this is... And delete. This will probably be the last part of this video. Just for future reference. Ah, yes, a horseshoe orbit. Options. Planet na Nope, not planet names. But planet trails. As you can see, this has been pushed into a very thin horseshoe orbit. And it goes out. As you guys can see, this looks... This looks almost exactly like a horse shoe. So here we are. Pause. Doesn't that look like a horse shoe? Yeah, I believe it does. Anyway, that's all for this video. This was a six minute special. I'm Lucas Wilson. I mean, I'm Gaming Science and Math Man. Don't crash.